Hey, Jules Bless Vegan, and welcome to day 54 of our 100 day countdown to the best version of ourselves in the new year. I'm so glad you're here. If you've just joined us, you are right on time. Every minute, every bite is another chance to be well and promote healthiness in your life. Perfectly imperfect is just right. So I was thinking, you know, when people are waiting for the perfect moment, waiting till they know enough, uh, you know, it's a fool's errand. I mean, we will never know enough, um, especially if we're waiting, right? Because to know things is to jump in with both feet and to actively seek and gain knowledge. So it's a contradiction to even suggest that you're going to be waiting. But the other thing is when people don't want to go through something, uh, life tends to represent the lesson again and again. And the only way out is through. <laughs> That's a sad truth, but the only way out of a situation is to actually go through that situation. And sometimes I hate hearing that. I want to stomp my feet and pound my fist and say, but I'm not going to do it. I, I can't. I'm not going through. I don't care what you say. I, I want to go back. You know, there is no back. There's no forward. There's only now. That's kind of a freaky thought um, because we do have the luxury of memory. Uh, but the interesting thing about memory thing about memory is that it is fluid and memories do tend to change based on new knowledge that we have um, when we grow uh, and look back it changes I I remember there was a lot of things I was angry about in my childhood um, but today I look on a lot of it with fondness and if not fondness then at least an understanding of what was transpiring at the time that I didn't use to have so you know, even memories will change. But honestly, we just can't keep waiting for that perfect moment. At least I know I can't. And and that is a tendency of mine. I don't want to step forward because I don't have enough information. I think, yeah, I was reading something Tanny Raw. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but I know I say Tanny Raw a lot. If you haven't checked that girl out on Instagram, YouTube, uh, her own TannyRaw.com uh, website, she's she's just good. You know, she's just been doing this for so long, and she's a natural seeker of knowledge. But anyway, I was reading something, one of her many vlogs, posts, whatever, and she was saying that. You don't need all the information, you know, and I understand you're not going to get all of it anyway, right? Because even right now, my gosh, information, real, imagined, fake news, whatever, is moving at the speed of light. I mean, from one moment to the next, there's a new finding, new information, um, a discrediting of past information. I mean, it's just chronic. So basically, what she's saying is your authentic story is enough, which is why I even started this page. I was like, wow, she thinks we have a story to tell. I think I'll tell mine. And so it's kind of, you know, just continuously unfolding. And I'm so grateful for the few people who are here um, and are actually checking in. You know, it's such an honor to process with you and to share my story as humble as it is. So I want to get on with whatever God's plan is for me which he will happily unveil in his time. And again, as, as I suggested in the past, his time is exactly right because I can't handle too much at a time or I will get overwhelmed. I will binge myself back to 330 pounds. Um, I tend to be fear-based. Nobody knows that. I mean, I'm saying it out loud to you guys and in my life you would probably laugh and go, really, Juliana? <laughs> you are like one of the least fearful people I know. You go for everything. And I do. I go for everything. But uh, sometimes I sabotage those, you know, endeavors because I am going too quickly. And the Lord knows um, that he just has to be very patient with me, with my success, with my failures, with my everything. He's a very merciful Lord, and I appreciate that for sure. All right. So this was kind of a jumble, but I hope you got the idea of it that perfection and waiting on perfection is a very lonely place because it's not coming and the world, all of the world only progresses forward. 
you know, whether it's a tiny little seedling that becomes a sprout, that becomes a, you know, vine, that becomes a pumpkin or whatever, it's only moving forward. And even when something dies on the vine, it's still moving forward. It's, you know, turning into something different. We're always evolving into something different. So to try and attempt to be stagnant out of fear, one, it can't even happen. Change is the only constant in life. And two, it doesn't serve anyone. So for today, I'm here continuing to take that leap of faith and make these little videos, whether I have an audience or not. Continuing to trust that God is on board and that there's an entire amazing community of people who care about animals, care about the planet, care about health. And that community is something I want to be part of. So thank you for being here for sure. Just one other side thing that I wanted to say. I was watching, uh, I think it's called TED Med, which is, are those TED Talks for medicine. And I'm pretty sure it was called Why We Continue to Eat Unhealthy Food. And it was super interesting, just more about, you know, the intentional chemicals and everything in our food. But one thing that I thought was so tragic, you know, they develop machines like MRIs and stuff to deal with our deteriorating bodies and being able to see inside and what is the problem and how can we fix the disease, you know, the disease of it. And then the same people in the food industry are using those MRIs, uh, feeding people things like Red Hot Cheetos and watching their brain chemicals go crazy and trying to manipulate the food to find out how they can punch just the right buttons via the MRI uh, to make us even more addicted to food. I was like, really? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's such a racket and so tragic. So no, I'm not doing this perfectly, but I'm doing it far more perfect than I have my entire life. And I'm grateful for that. And with the strength of, your, you know, this community, you being here, uh, God, I'm just trying to pull forward. So one day at a time, one bite at a time, one choice at a time. And praise God, 54 days at a time <laughs> to the best version of ourselves in the new year, right? All right. So until we talk again... God bless you and be blessed.